Hello everyone and welcome to a number of videos on the balance of payments. This first video provides an introduction. So let's start off with what the balance of payments actually is. Well, it's nothing more than a record of all of the financial transactions made between consumers, businesses and the government in one country with other countries. Um, inflows of foreign currency into the country in question count as positive entries, their credit items, and outflows of foreign currency are counted as negative entries, their debit items. The balance of payments is split into four different accounts, the current account, the capital account, the financial account, and the net errors and omissions. And when we have a deficit on any one of the individual accounts, what that means is that more money is leaving the country than is entering it through that particular part of the account. A surplus means the opposite. It means more money is coming in than is leaving through that part of the account. And a really top tip though the balance of payments the clue is in the name the balance of payments sums to zero so the balance of payments cannot be in deficit or surplus only the individual accounts within it so the bits that you need to know particularly well, well, the current account, this is this is one account that you do need to be very familiar with. Um, it includes trades in goods and services, but actually there's a number of other really quite significant components to it. And the financial account is the other bit that increasingly you need to know a reasonable amount about. So the financial account includes foreign direct investment, amongst other things. So a thinking task for you. A satisfactory balance of payments position is one of the macroeconomic objectives. So just pause this video only for a moment or two. That's all it should take how many of the other macroeconomic objectives can you remember? Well, I've got the three other main ones here, sustainable economic growth, low and stable inflation, low unemployment. It's possible you had some others. It's possible you had something to do with equity or inequality. It's possible you had something to do with the fiscal position. It is possible that you had something to do with the environment as well. We've got some key terms on here to do with the balance of payments. So I will allow you to look down here for yourself. And um, just a couple to comment on the effective exchange rate. We talked about this in previous video series. This is a weighted average of one country's currency against others expressed as an index. And right at the bottom, the Marshall Learner conditions. These are really important because they give us a rule if you like, for when a currency's depreciation will improve its current account. The last slide in this section then, just a little bit of a summary in the case of the UK as to where the various accounts on the balance of payments currently stand. So this information takes a little bit of time 
to be compiled. So the latest full year, year information we've got is 2018. This is in millions of pounds. You'll see the current account is in a really big deficit. That's a deficit of over 92 billion pounds. Um, you'll see the financial account though is in a really big surplus, a surplus of over 77 billion pounds. And you'll see the capital account though is really small in the context of the others. And I always think the net errors and omissions is surprisingly large. So in the videos to come, we will be looking at each of these in detail. But that's an end to this introductory video.